Hi guys, welcome back to Farming Yes and today I'm going to be showing you how we feed our sheep. Hi, welcome here to Farming Yes and today I'm going to be showing you our sheep here. And we have three pens here. Um, this is our pen with the lambs. The middle pen and there, the first point is our finishing sheep. So in this pen here behind me, we have five ewes and ten lambs. So four of those lambs are my replacement ewes. And in this middle pen, we have 14 ewes here and one calf. So in this, in this comparison we have how we feed, just equate the calf to about three to four sheep feed. And at the fast point, I'm just going to zoom in there. See four sheep. So those four sheep are our finishing sheep. Um, they're going off to the auction house tomorrow. But in this video, I'll show you how we feed. Um, we use sorghum, a mixed feed that I'll show you how the rations work of that. And grass in these rings, as you can see behind me. And then also from the video of how we harvest pumpkin, I'll put a link up here somewhere is some pumpkins here that isn't suitable for human consumption and behind me is the stack of grass bales i feed my sheep so i'm going to head in and show you the ration first of how i mix the ration and the weights of everything on that and then we're going to come out feed the sheep everything and then i have to move a few sheep so they can get ready for the auction house tomorrow let's go so firstly, um, this is our base feed here. Um, it's a filler to go with the rations because of the rations high energy volume. So this is the sorghum, you can see here. Um, this is the seed pot. So there's a step, this one, queen of seed. So we put this through our hammer mill. Put a link to that video also up here. And that is the base feed. It's about 50% of what the sheep consume. And you can see how rough it is here. This roughness, and I'm going to show you now with the MML how fine it's begun. So, we're here with the massive figures in 240 and our mill yeah. And this is one of the bags of the sorghum. Yeah. Now, you can see there, without yeah. that's how fine it becomes. After it's been through the hammer mill, um, so these bags weigh a maximum of 6 kilogram, minimum of 5, which makes an average of 5.5. So that's the weight of those, and when I'm done with the ration mixing here, yeah, I'll show you how much I feed of that. So let's get to the rations here. I'm in our workshed here, so don't bother you with how dirty it is, it's a working shed. Um, this is my rations here. Firstly, that's um. This lad has some corn maize that has been picked through the animal. Then I have some salt, rough salt here. Um, this is the stuff on it. You can pause the video here if you want to get more of this info. And then I use alfalfa pellets mixed with corn and salt and mills for our lambs and finishing animals. And now it becomes the crib feeding. And that's the company making it for us. 50 kg back. And then it comes to one of my most used stuff here. Um, I paused the video also here. This is the African side. And well, my English video viewers, I don't think there's actually English on this, but you'll understand it. Pause the video where you want to look. And this is the consistency. This is quite damp. You can see it makes holes. And there's all the minerals and stuff the sheep need. So I'm going to take the volumes I need for our finishing sheep and weigh them off so you can see how I mix the finishing sheep's batches and the rest I'll do off camera. And let's head on to the next room where I'll show you the weights. Let's go. In this room I've set up for this video. Um, this is the SS200. The corn through the animal. 
pellets here, nice close up of how good they look. And the raft salt is a little bit too much, but they're finishing animals. And then I have to scale, see it's not on zero, so it's calibrated to these buckets, holders, containers, whatever you want to call them. So wait, and then I'm going to throw it all into this 20 liter bucket here, or 5 gallon pail as the medicus call it. So first up, the first up is a SS200 with a weight of 540, 50. Don't correct me on that, it's not too specific. Just throw it into the bucket. And next up, malt corn, and that's at a weight of 520. Throw that in, and then the Lucerne of Alpha pellets, it's about 270, so I have to guess. Throw that in. And I'm going to throw the salt into one of these containers because it's calibrated to that. So the salt is a little bit too much actually, it's about 500 grams. That also goes into that. As you can see, it's not mixed well. So I have an auger bit I'm going to collect that now and show you how I mix that too. So my dad's paint mixer actually on the drill. You see? And it's like an auger bit that large farmers use. And I just put this into the bucket and then mix it up. And I'll show you that with a close up. I'm just going to quickly show you the difference here between what was before and where it's now. You see it's all mixed in well. So the weights on that I will put up here with our finishing use here, our middle group with the calf, and then our use of the lamb on the side, the three panels here with the weights of everything. And then you can pause the video here if you don't want to and check all of that. And then I'm going to move on to mixing the other two groups, put it in a little bit of a video collage for you, and then we'll lay it out and feed this out to the animals. Buckets here, as you can see. Finishing use, mural group, and use of lambs. And now we're going to head out, feed the sorghum into to the feeding troughs, and after that, we're going to collect these buckets here and put that into the sorghum. When we're all done with that, we will grab the grass bells out there somewhere and feed that into the feeding circles, and after that we will feed the pumpkins. A lot of ants there because it's a quite long process. So let's get started and get this done.
Now what we are here in the pen of the lambs. See the teeth stuck here. Um, this pen got about 2.5 kgs of hammer malt sorghum, the middle group got a full 5.5 kgs and the group way over there behind the worker got 2.5 kgs also. I'm going to grab the pails and I'm not going to talk much about that, I'm just going to throw it out in the bucket. In the troughs, I don't mix it in, just throw it on the top because I know they will get this in which will, it will mix in their stomachs, so there's no problem. So let's get those and feed it out. Okay, so now I'm done with feeding the rations there. So we're going to move on to the bales here. I'm just going to pull one down, let it fall. And then I'm going to move it over there to the shed. Good day. And split it. So the middle group get about two thirds around here, which is 13 kgs of grass. And this last third is about seven kgs of grass that the use of the lambs get. The finishing use don't get any grass. I get enough sorghum as a filler. And that's that. So let's get moving on. Split the bell here. Um, this is a roy grass, red grass, and Switzerland wild gra grass pasture mix here that I've built in just the previous video. Um, so I'm going to thread it into this homemade feeding uh, rings here. One here, one over there. And I'll show you how easy it is to feed into one of these things. So let's get moving on to that. There. Now we're going to move on to the pumpkins here and some of you might think it's quite costly to feed it this way. Um, it's just waste pumpkins, it needs to be thrown away so we put it through the sheep and get the use out of it. So there's minimal waste and this is, stuff is starting to rot here. So I'm going to have to feed quite a few of these. So we'll just show a little bit of that. done feeding the pumpkins to the sheep um, just put a few in there's not specific amounts on that we're going to move on to the pallets that I feed the lambs in the lamb house and that's this bag they've shown you with the finishing use and so of these I just use two belt volume and I've measured this it's about 650 Grams that goes in every two of these, so each one of these is about 325 grams. Now I put them two in the one bucket and one in the other because of the reason that we have older lambs and younger lambs, and this lambing house is separated in halves, and the one is smaller gates and one larger gates. 
and I'll show you, show you, whoa, that's a tongue twister, show you how they look and then we're going to feed this out to the lambs out there. So let's head out with these buckets of pellets and then we're pretty much finished. This is our lambing house as I said in the previous videos. Um, just put this wooden board from the skates so we can fit in. Um, this is the buckets that have put them over. So this is for the larger lambs. You see the gate wolf here. This is a bit, Quite a bit smaller and it has a long time feeder. So let's get to feeding this. In the lambing house here, you can see the, the small whales. Lambs are outside waiting for them. Um, we can first do the smaller lambs here. Put the board down. They dang like that. And then they take one with only one. All the food. And dump it down. See that? Down there and I see their eggs, which is quite strange. I'll show you the lambs here. See two of them eating over there. One trying to get in. Too big. So they can feed this in. So I'm off down feeding, yeah. Put all the lambs in there. And they're usually going to try and go in, but I, they can't. So let's maybe finish off the video here. So that's how we feed our sheep on this program, our winter feeding that's going to go into spring. Um, our alfalfa is starting to grow back there. Trying to get the last bit. So I hope you have enjoyed this. If you watched this far, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below of what you think of this type of videos i'm quite out of breath now for some reason I'm actually quite fit and that's going to be that so we can quickly show you i'm one of these new ones to eat bonus features here for watching until the end but really, i appreciate all of you that watch to the end and smash the like button and leave me a comment if you watch to the end I'll respond to you with a great thank you and watch till the end leave a comment down below if you said you watched to the end and I'll maybe do a little bit of a shout out in the next video so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time